Let's keep the train on the track, shall we? Let's go to the next game. Let's talk a little football between Georgetown and Ainer. And the championship baseball team receiving their rings tonight for winning that title back in the spring. Congratulations yet again to the Blue Jacket championship baseball team. To football we go. First quarter, G-Town on the move. Taylor McAllister dishes out the turkey on a ride to, to Kid Anderson. He strolls in, 7-0 Bulldogs. Jody Jenneret not pleased. Still first, more from the dogs. McAllister with a strike to Fred Taylor. He dives into the house. Six more, 14-0 Georgetown. And that look about sums it up. Second quarter, more of the same. McAllister here on the keeper. Avoids the traffic and rumble. Young man rumble, 32 for another six. Dogs pouring it on up 21 to nothing. Hey, the jacket still fired up and yeah, keep on dancing. But so was McAllister and company. He's going to add yet another touchdown to his growing total. Georgetown. They come up to Ainer and they shut out the Blue Jackets. 33 to nothing to win their first region game of the season. They improved to 4 and 2, 1 and 0 in region, dropping Ainer to 4 and 2, but 0 and 1 in region. The Blue Jackets will look to get back on track going on the road next week as they head to Waccamaw and Pauley's Island to take on the Warriors. As for Georgetown, they get back to the Steel City and they welcome a very, very good football team from Lake City. The Panthers rolling this season and they'll head down to Georgetown to take on the Bulldogs next Friday night. Of course, we'll have highlights of both those games for you next Friday on Week 7 of the End Zone.